And the hits keep on coming at wide receiver in fantasy land. Earlier this summer, we saw Kelvin Benjamin go down to a torn ACL just last week. Jordy Nelson fell victim to the injury. Now the suspension has been levied potentially on Martavis Bryant. Reportedly, according to Adam Schefter, he could miss the first four games of the regular season after violating the league's substance abuse policy. What's the fallout here? Well, for Brian, a guy that was going as a 21st wide receiver in fantasy, he's going to slide off the continental shelf. A guy that's probably going to drop some 30, maybe even 40 picks, uh, going from an early fifth rounder potentially to an eighth or even ninth rounder. That is still tremendous value when she pounce all over it if he is available at that point in your draft. Remember, this is a guy last season who had uh, eight touchdowns in 10 games, actually led the wide receiver position, and fantasy points per snap at 0.45, yes, even more than Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, Despite missing 30% of the regular season, I still think he'll outperform the guy that people are going to be all over in Marcus Wheaton. Now, Marcus Wheaton, kind of been the buzz here of training camp. Big Ben talked him up saying, you know, this is a guy that he's got a, a great rapport with, an established chemistry. He expect him to take a step forward, and the opportunity is obviously right now. Uh, Wheaton, a player who was a wide receiver 45 in recent drafts, will probably spike into the wide receiver 30 to wide receiver 35 range, which is understandable and deserving. But right now, I'm still buying our Martavis Bryant, particularly at the splash price. For more fantasy hot takes, Make sure you log on to our Roto-RK blog at sports.yahoo.com slash fantasy.